guys, so we're in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, District 1, Pham Nhu Lao, talking about COVID devastation on businesses and tourists. So let's go. So guys, this once bustling area of Boi Vinh would be chock full of tourists, vocals, as you can see, everything is closed. Once this was a cafe, always full of people upstairs. You can see the for rent signs. Cho te na. Cho te nha. Yes, thank you. My Vietnamese is terrible. So is mine. <laughs> uh, so all the tourism places and tourist places, they're just empty. My favorite. You, go anytime Adam. My favorite family mart, another COVID casualty. Some people like 7-Eleven. I'm a family mart guy. Uh-huh. You guys remember I've talked about Saigon Yang all the time and this is the closest family mart to Saigon Yang. And I came here looking for it last weekend and I was like where the heck did that family mart go? Now I know. <laughs> this HSBC stole my ATM card one time. That was a hassle to get back. Oh man. Yeah. But as you guys can see all these businesses are devastated. It's so bad they just graffiti them, they don't care. <laughs> it's, everything just closed. So, a lot is closed. We can go even further down Family Lao, but I think we're gonna go down by Saigon Nan and take a look at this hymn. Yeah. And you can see, again, they're building something here, new, but it's been empty. Yeah, but that's Bangkok. good for them. It used to be like another restaurant, just like Saigon yeah, Yang. It was Hong Vi. Do you this, want to get Saigon Yang? This is Saigon Yang right here. I've showed you guys this before. It's, my, but, it's our favorite place. Yeah, <laughs> cheap beers, cheap food. But right across the street, there was another place just like Saigon Yang that would have tables out on the street. Yeah, Hong looks, Vi. Yeah, but it looks like they didn't lose too much money because they're building something there. Yeah, definitely. Maybe a hotel or there's no suit. Um, so you want to talk about... Ah, yes. This used to be an Italian pasta pizza place. I used to know one of the ladies that worked here. Now it's closed. You see the chest away and yeah, sign. And then we can pan over to the hotels. These are open, guys, but they are so empty and so quiet. Um, used to be just busy all the time. People coming in and out. I love this sign right here. Check this out. It says, your decent stay. It's not your best stay, it's not your good stay, it's just decent. decent. It's just a decent stay. <laughs> uh, a good friend of mine, Joe, lived in there and I've actually been up to his room. It was, I'll, I'll say decent. <laughs> yeah, it was decent, I've been there twice. I got a room there twice. Um, so, also to talk about this hem, you guys. Adam, I've been, been down here plenty of times. We have like the temple here that's really beautiful and there used to be all the Hong Kong. This was like the little Hong Kong or whatever. That I did not know. So that's what they have all the lanterns here. All right. So we had you had right here. This restaurant is gone from COVID. This was a dumpling dim sum place, always packed with locals, like yep. super packed. And all they sold was a little dumpling. When you see that cha cha tway, yeah, that means for rent, house for rent. Yes. So you're gonna see these signs everywhere that's now. That's what we're pointing out today. See, lost in Hong Kong. Very nice. And Adam, if you pan back around, now this place, Club 13 or whatever, this is still booming. Yeah. All the locals come here at night. This one is still booming. So good for them. Yeah. Um, they closed during COVID, but it is packed with young locals. They I think probably own the building. That's probably why they maybe, didn't lose yeah, it. Our, these guys are still doing good. So that that's good to see. So guys, not everything is gloom and doom. We're just kind of pointing out like. Well, let's go show them the crazy buffalo. Yeah. Because the Crazy Buffalo it's used gone. to be. I have, my first night here in Saigon, I went to the Crazy Buffalo and I, I was overwhelmed by Blue Vien Street. So I got really high up there and took a shot downwards. Yep, I went up there probably my first day here. Um, also here, guys, Mr. Foons, they stayed open. They've made it through the hole. They turned half of it into a clothing store. Yeah, they had to adjust the shop, but this place stayed open. Hello, Chi. Hello. Long time no see you. Um, so then, Adam, if you pan back over to your left, this was the new sister place to Lost in Hong Kong. They were going to do another... Wow, they actually did a really nice yeah, up there. Yeah, so look at all the work they put into that, and then for it to just, boom, dead, close. Disappeared. But I don't see the 
for a rent sign. But it's empty inside. Yeah. Look how much work they put into that. It was, yeah, it looks nice. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't very Hello. They even got new air conditioners. You want to be on the video? Yeah, I want. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Actually, Hotel High Fa. Uh, my friend Kenneth stayed here. Yeah. She that runs it is a very nice lady. It's not her. She's in the back. We're from the USA. USA? Yeah. California, Colorado. Uh, yeah. I went to the American for a year. Oh. Yeah. You went to America for four years? <laughs> <laughs> this big club closed down. And during COVID, it was a fresh market. So you could come get produce and meat. I literally had to. Adam, let's come here. I'll show you so that. If you pan up to the top of Boy Bin right here, we are at the top of Boy Bin. I had to climb over razor wire and police and military personnel to get to this market just to get food. I'm not. Joking. Why were they there? Everything. Where is during lockdown? Ah. Okay. Everything was locked down. So, but I had no food, and I had to like literally snake my way over here. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. I've jumped a couple barricades during the lockdown when I had to go places. Same. Yeah. Well, some days the army would just say go back. Yeah. Other days we're just like, I'm going, I don't care what you say. Some Other days they just ignored me. <laughs> um, quickly, Yola, COVID casualty, big dance club. There's cool. a lot of bad stories about this place. Weren't they ripping off their patrons pretty bad? Uh, I don't know, I never went there. I went to Yola when it was at uh, September 22nd Park, right by Central Market. Gotcha. They used, I think that was the location when I got here, when I first moved here. Um, you know, they it, had all before the, that, it was a coffee shop, though, wasn't it? I used to get coconut. This? Yeah, YOLO, right here on the corner. I can't even remember now, and it, it wasn't that long ago. So, yeah, it might have been a cafe. Or... These guys have made it, so that's a good... Looks like they kept their building in pretty good shape, too. Champion Sports Bar has made it, but they're reduced. Um, this pizza place went out. Been gone for a long time, guys. Some people hated it. Some people loved it. I ate it one time. I actually, I would have ate it twice. Um, we're gonna talk about food sometimes. Yeah. I join Adam again. Yeah. Once we get some money, we're gonna do some food videos. Do you want to check this him, or do we want to check out Buffalo? I, I know this girl walking up right here. This is a uh, Melina from Russia. Last time I saw her, she was kind of upset with me. I was, I had a few beers and I said a few snide comments. So let's see if she says anything to me here. I wouldn't blame her. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of my personality is kind of racist. There's your answer to that one. How are you doing? Want to say hi to the YouTube viewers? This is Melina. She's from France. You said nobody wanted to see me. Everybody wants to see you. You know, just being an asshole. The ocean, Paris, or whatever. Hey, this was. They have a pool, so you can. And this place was like a really fancy hotel um, my, my full of tourists. It. The best breakfast I ever had in Saigon was here, but I also paid probably 100k for it. Yeah, and which I is four dollars. It's not too bad for a tourist. Yeah, but it was a huge breakfast, like American style breakfast: eggs, bacon, toast, butter. You know, a real. Sometimes I just don't need a banh mi every day. Right. This might have been the non my guys. I'm not positive, but the tacos, the Korean. Infused tacos. I'm pretty sure it was this one. So good, dude. And then they closed out before Tip Dog came down. Which one was Tippy's? Tippy's was right here. Tippy's was here. Yeah. And before that, it was the Sunrise Cafe, which my friend and his girlfriend owned. Another Chad Blade, yeah? Yep, that's what I was pointing at. This was Tips D1, my favorite Mexican place down here. Yep. He's still in D4, uh, moved out to Tabian. So he's not a COVID casualty. But he couldn't he, maintain he's on. A, he's a COVID relocation. Yeah, District One. He couldn't maintain. And like before, he was here. It was my friends, um, Sunrise Cafe or whatever I said. It was pretty neat. Yeah. But what else is close? Oh, so I was gonna show her. I don't. You don't have to film this right. This is where I was gonna say you can check out to eat. I want to go somewhere else. Uh, okay. I've been here like two days ago. It's amazing. Okay. It's so cheap. It, it's not bad for what it is. She knows it. She knows you guys. Yeah. 
she remembers it. I'm not even hungry and I want those cheese to mozzarella <laughs> Oh, that, you might, you can film again. If you I want. never turned it off. There was Cheese Cafe. She was, <laughs> I think it was, she was one of these. I think it was this one or this one. The Cheese Cafe. Cheese as in Fomai or Chi, chi or as in chi, sister? Chi. As in like Auntie Chi. Yeah, yeah, right. She had the biggest following of foreigners. Maybe it was here. I just cannot remember. Guys, my memory is terrible, but she did all the visa runs for all the foreigners, and every foreign, foreigner recommended me for her. Oh, go to Chi. She can sort out your visas. You go to Cambodia, do the visa gotcha. runs. I kind of lost her, but let's. Will you come she down here? Off. Okay, so we lost we lost Melina. It looks like she found some breakfast. We'll, so we're, we'll, we'll right let back. her go. I want to just show something on a smaller scale. I, I love my coffee. Vietnam coffee is the best coffee. They make a lot of Vietnam. So, Thai coffee, coffee. right there. <laughs> Thai coffee. So, one of the world's biggest exporters of coffee beans. Yeah. They make some great coffee. This. Maybe they're coming back. I don't know, but maybe this is where I would get my coffee. I oh, could get my little love. Uh, somebody's in there. Oh. They, they might be coming back. So, you can film him. Who's Pop, this guy? Fook Mop put him in his vlog. He thought he was going to steal his camera. Oh. He, he will not steal your camera, but gotcha. he will talk to us and he'll ask you for money. Gotcha. He'll say he's hungry. He's a good guy. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm a tour guy. Yeah, okay. he's a tour guide. So got guys on YouTube, if you see him in, in Ho Chi Minh, yeah. he's annoying. <laughs> he's annoying. Yeah, but he's, he's, a very, he's a good guy. He There was another vlogger posted him. You were following a guy down Boy Vin, guy yeah. with a big beard. Yeah. Book map. Fat American guy. He thought you were gonna steal his camera on yeah. YouTube, yeah, because you were following him and he told you he was on his bicycle. He told you five times, have a nice day, have a nice day. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but yeah. You, you kept following him, so on yeah, his yeah. on his YouTube, yeah, I know him. I know him. he thought you're gonna Alibaba him. So I try to tell him, you're not gonna Alibaba. I just told YouTube. You're annoying, you can't help it, but you're not gonna steal from anyone. He's hustling, he says hustle. So guys, if you see him, he can show you around, tip him, um, he is a good guy. If you see him, he can help you out getting around here. Yeah. I don't need help getting around here, I've lived here too long. And you been to China now, uh, where, where is he from? I'm from California, but I live here three years. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're from America? Yeah, from America, same as, same as him. Yeah, same country. Yeah. I know him for a long time. Yeah, yeah apparently. <laughs> oh, that's a good sign, the, the street peddlers are down. Yes, they are. Yeah, you come back, right? We're, come come back. Uh, we're, we're just, I want to show them. <laughs> then that's the annoying part, right? So, Adam, <laughs> this place, Alley Booze, probably the crappiest food I've ever eaten in my life. Um, I think I sat here and had a beer once. A couple years ago. I don't know how you can mess up a cheese pizza with garlic. Sounds and pretty basic. I sat here and it was crazy price. They're a COVID casualty. Um, I'm not I'm not being a hater. Um, it's I'm sad for any business that was lost, but I am going to say it was the worst food and so overpriced. I never found the allure up here. I thought it was a terrible place. Well, let's watch walk down day tam That's and then exactly, we can i was just gonna say this swing time. around by crazy buffalo yep perfect there used to be a something. club here and i mentioned this in one of my other bouvian videos that was a club yep the right republic? downstairs the republic and i went downstairs ah. one time i didn't realize it was a gay club till i started getting my ass slapped <laughs> and i realized pretty quick what was going on there <laughs> hey when i hate when that happens <laughs> yeah I, as you can see for rent uh futa that's for rent Empty, empty. Speaking of pizza, pasta, another COVID casualty. Yep. It was called, I think, Cappuccino. They actually had decent pizza. Gone. Gone. This might just be apartments for rent. Yeah, cha So that's a whole building for rent. Yeah, it is, huh? Yep. I bet the apartments up there aren't too bad looking. Probably not. Probably expensive being in this location too. Oh, shit, I want to see something. Hello. Hello. Taylor Fook. Did I say that right? I don't know. Fook. 
Cool? Cool? I don't know. She's still here, great. Come here, get your clothes made, she's awesome. And her turnaround time's great, her prices are great. I've gotten pants, shirts made here, um, hand tailored. I brought three or four of my friends here and they all love her. That's good, and when you're big like us, it, yeah. it's hard to get clothes that fit us. Yeah. It'll be tight on the chest and shoulders, yep. but then like too loose around the belly area or vice versa. Going to a tailor is a very good idea if you're a big yeah. westerner. Um, so, a tailor here. man, here's my favorite store on day, Tom. Saigon Skate Shop, and you can scroll up and see all the decks. Best shop in town, guys, Saigon Skate Shop. These dudes are super chill. Complete deck here, how much would it cost? Um, like a 90 style deck. Yeah, about 150 US dollars. That's a little little high. It is, but they have to import here. Closed. As you can see here, there's construction, so something new will pop up. You know, something will rise from the ashes. Yep, and hopefully it'll maintain. A lot of stuff uh, rises from the ashes and goes right back down again. Yes, and you can just see that thing's close, whatever it was. All of these businesses used yeah. to be open. There. The bus is gonna kill me if I don't move. Yeah, we just, this was a big uh, club. You can scroll up and see beautiful building. I don't, I didn't come to these places too much. I didn't like them. There's the Chu Toy. Chu Toy. Okay. However you said it. And now you can go across the street. There's your... Right. This used to be the crazy buffalo. My first night I came to Ho Chi Minh City, I didn't know where anywhere else to go except for Bouvian. That's what all the YouTubers always covered. So I came to crazy buffalo. I went to the top floor and I took a picture looking downwards. And it was and I'm, cool. Yeah, and I'm going to share that picture right now yeah. in the video so you guys can see what it used to look like three years ago when I came to Ho Chi Minh City. Now this building is completely devastated. Everybody knew crazy buffalo. It was one of the biggest establishments here. Another COVID casualty. Yes. Yeah. Guys, that was just a fraction of down here. Yeah. We only went two or three blocks, and that's how much devastation you see. On a positive note, things will reopen. Things will start back up, but at how long? And you know, it's going to take a while to recover. Some of the best food was here. And they actually all relocated here because of COVID and then COVID kept coming back to it. Let's walk by where Soulburger's at because yeah. I want to show that too. Yeah, dude. Soulburger supposedly had some of the best burgers in Vietnam. Oh, they were great. I can't judge that because I haven't had many hamburgers here in Vietnam, but they were good. I, I ate it. it was and they had endless fries too, which I appreciated. It was delicious. Bought a basket of fries and they would refill them indefinitely. Well, so on your left, dude, that's a hat and shoe street. That's where you go buy your fake Adidas, or I buy my fake Adidas. Mm -hmm. A lot of those guys are gone now. I would almost like to shoot up that alley. I was checking on my bike. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's still there. We can grab it, move it. So, when I first came to Vietnam, or relocated to Vietnam, my hotel was right around the corner. Gotcha. So that's the only reason I know this area. That whole building's for rent. Yep. Right here next to Phuc Lam Coffee is where Soul Burger used to be, right underneath where it says Classic Nails. Yeah, so See the big good. red sign? Benton Chia Thuy Nha Nguyen. This used to be the food court. Now they built a club here. But back in the day, it used to be a place where you could go and sample a, a variety of Vietnamese dishes and craft beers. You could sit here, you'd meet a lot of foreigners, and you'd drink and eat some pretty decent food. They had a lot of foreigner food too. That's yeah. why I, I used to get eggs and bacon here. I used to come here and get Vietnamese pizza. Yep, there's a pizza place right when you walked into the right. Yeah. Yep, exactly. It was, it was decent, if I recall. I walked up there and opened the door and peeked inside. I'm not going to do it again. Well, maybe I can. What are uh, they going to do? I don't know. But now it, now it looks like it's some sort of club. So I don't know exactly what they're doing in here. Hi, don't mind me. It looks like they built like a club or a bar or something in there. Maybe a movie theater? Milk for babies? When you grow up, have a drink of beer? Yeah, it's a club. So that's another COVID casualty. We lost the food court, Why which was a huge... Huge tourist attraction. But they built something in its place, so it's not a total casualty. Yes, that's good. So at least something rose from the ashes. Right. Now how successful they are, who knows. So since we're doing COVID casualties today, I wanted to show you guys a spot that I used to go to a lot years ago when I used to go out drinking in Vietnam. I used to live here in District 1 on Kobach Street, and I used to come here all the time. And the store was called Saigon Hot Wings and he couldn't afford his rent. I'm still in contact with the guy on 
uh, the Vietnamese social network. They call it Zalo or Yellow. So he's got a new location, but he couldn't afford to keep this place open anymore. So he had to close it. It's right next to Saigon Chilling. They actually own the land together. So he was renting from them, but he couldn't afford it. The rent was just too high. And with the COVID lockdown, just couldn't keep it together anymore. I'm gonna climb up here on the fence, show you guys inside. Yeah, I feel really bad for the guy. He worked really hard, he cared about his business a lot, but he couldn't, could not afford the rent, not without any customers. Best hot wings in Saigon. When he does his grand opening, I'm gonna shoot out to that and I'm gonna show you guys his grand opening. Hopefully he's got a nice spot. Hopefully he's doing okay. But look forward to that in a future video. For now, we're gonna move on to some other places. Now we're on Dok Wan Dao, which is here in Il Wu Bien, where we're gonna see the most devastation from COVID. A lot of the closed businesses. I know I've showed you guys Wu Bien at night, but it's a totally stark contrast during the day. You can get more of a feel of the closures. Look at this thing, it was a really fancy. There might still be some tenants, I don't know. It looks like, look how close. Obviously closed. And this, they tried to do a rib place. They did ribs, that got closed down. This, the cars were hiding it. This was a huge nightclub, just gone. Oh, I remember this. I came here two year, new years it, ago. It was two different, three different clubs in the last few Yeah, years. and you could go all the way up to the top. So you can just see, look at this. You see the wood, they tried to do a barbecue pit here. He was doing American style ribs. I never got to eat them. Just gone. Now some of the- Circle K still in business. Hey man. So, real quick plug. She'll do a cheeseburger for about 35K. Is it the best cheeseburger in the world? Hell no. But is it good for 39K? Yeah. I can get a really souped up Vietnamese coffee there for 20k. Alright. Side note, Bookworms is still here and did not fold under COVID. That's He's good been, to hear. They've been here for a long time. You guys want to go in there and get some drinks or some, uh, some food and play some board games? That's a good place to go. So we're going to walk down the main drag of Bouvian. I know I've showed you guys Bouvian before, but it's different during the daytime. At least things are coming back, so it's a positive. Love it, hate it. However you feel about Boy Vin, I pretty much don't like it, but I am here a lot more than I would like to admit. Side note here, the Maracay Hotel with the rooftop view, still going strong, still open. But I will tell anybody this, go up to the rooftop, it's cool. The view is cool. It's cool air, a cool breeze. Just the architecture inside, it's, it's just a chill, it's a chill place. So very quickly, side note, I don't know Capicola laptop. They try to open this. It's a cell phone store now, isn't it? Yeah, cell phone and accessories and stuff. I will guess right now, they are probably out of business already. I'm going to guess. I'm not positive, but I know they weren't gonna make it because why would you need an accessory shop right in the middle of Boivin? Exactly. So it was a COVID resurrection. They tried to start something new. I am going to guess. I, I will say in a two weeks when we come back, that's not gonna be there. Okay, we'll find out. There's so many cell phone accessory shops like that all over Ho Chi Minh City. Why would they spend the money to put it on Bouvian? Yeah, the rent. Doesn't make sense. The rent here is absolutely ridiculous on that street. I've showed you guys Miss Saigon before. Definitely not a COVID casualty. They probably own this building. Miss Saigon's probably not going anywhere ever. Nope, they might be pretty empty at night, but they are still here. That'll be here until the end of humanity. Yeah, they're a staple. They must have a lease on that building for sure. Because they probably own it. It's probably owned yeah. by their family. So these have changed hands so many times. This is not not. Never heard it of it. Like it was something else lost since I got or something like a few months ago. This has changed three times. Space club, this has changed I don't know how many times in the last two years, three years. They keep trying guys, so not everything is a failure. Uh, 
business will continue. It's just how long or how hard. Like, see this? This is already gone again. This has changed like two or three times. This one's Mon for rent. Monaco? Monaco 2? So, it just gives you an idea of like how hard it is down here. The effects of COVID, um, the domino effect, the ripple effect, however you want to say it. It's taken time to destroy things and rebuild things still. Bouvian doesn't look too bad as opposed to the side streets off of Bouvian. Yeah, and during the day, it's kind of hard to tell because what's open, what's closed, unless you see a for rent sign. Yeah. At night, you'll know because there's lights and music so loud that you can't, you can't miss it. Now this one stayed the same, I believe. Forte, I think that stayed the same for at least a while. 86 Forte. I don't know, I've never I been there. I believe that's stayed the same. Ocean's been the same for quite a long time. I remember Ocean. I've been in there a few times. They're still the same. But yeah, these big clubs, I mean, you gotta imagine the rent on these is through the roof. 100 million, 200 million probably. I was probably. just thinking 100 million, easy. I'm not, I'm not good at math guys, but it's a lot of money. And 100 million might be low. Yeah, probably 200 million. 200 million is going to be about 8,000, 8,000 dollars a month. I'll, I'll go, that's somewhere in there. 100 million to 200 mil, depending on their contract or lease or their, who they know. Taj Mahal guys, they've stayed around for a long time. Yeah. Pretty good pretty good stuff. I've eaten there several times. Um, yeah, so you can try them. They stayed open. What's this? This one, I don't know what it was called, but gone. Obviously Whatever. closed. Monaco Club. There you go, guys. This has changed names, but they have been around for a long time. Is it go to or go square? <laughs> I say go to. Go to, it's the go to spot. Circle K. Okay. You know, we can go all the way to the top again and see. Hang left or right? I'll go right. Okay, let's do it. So this is the main drag. What's the name of the street? Tran Hung Dao. Tran Hung Dao Street. And look at this. These used to be all restaurants, right? Um, some were restaurants. What? Actually, this might have been the Honda shop. You know, you're right, it was the Honda. There was a Honda motorbike dealership right here. And to see Honda go out of business, guys, that's that's a big one. It's a big company that my friend that I rented my bike from, Saigon Dragon Bikes, he would take my Honda here to get it serviced. Oil one change. of these was Honda. Whichever one, it was this or that. I think it was that. I think it was that one too. I think you're right. Look at it up there. So just so much business is lost hopefully soon the government will allow travel again make sure you guys have your vaccines if you want to come to vietnam i can't speak for certain but i'm fairly sure they're going to require you to have two vaccines to get into the country i know as it is right now if you try to go to a lot of places here in vietnam they want to see your vaccine passport they want to make sure you're green sorry go ahead no. So this place has stayed throughout all of it. Cao Lok, or Cao Lok. Uh -huh. It's the, one of the first fancy seafood places I ever ate here. It's actually really good, but it's your uppity crowd. It's gonna be your Vietnamese with a lot of money type place. Um, if you like seafood though, I highly recommend it, seafood and beer. But it's definitely a little pricey, but they have remained open, so they are not a casualty. So that is a... It's a plus. You know, some of these guys have made it. What is this? I thought they were giving all you free drinks right there. <laughs> or candles. <laughs> when it comes to closure, it looks like this might be a little bit abandoned right here. I'm not sure. Oh, dude, yeah. It's, it's a part of that. Or, oh, no, that's just the building. I was like, that looks vacant. Constructing something here. When you guys see those tarps that look like that, look like barbershop poles, I guess. It's because they're building something. Yep, construction. Yeah, it's a pretty fancy place there. 
I think we should probably wrap up the devastation video for here for now. That's fine. Okay guys, we're getting a little tired of walking around District 1 right now, so we're gonna close out the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, showing you guys some of the businesses that were closed because of the COVID restrictions. Once tourism opens back up here, I expect the businesses will start opening again. And the economy will start lighting up, but for now, this is how it is. You know, rip to all the COVID casualties. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your subscriptions, your love, and your comments, your likes. If you didn't like the video, smash that dislike button and tell me why in the comments so I can approve. But for now, stay awesome.